Today we're going to make a delicious seven cheese mac and cheese. Hey everybody, Hunter Fisher, Trapper, Trader, Guide, Scout, and Interpreter, and just a country cook, Steve Hall, here in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila running that camera. Hi, Sheila. Hi. Today we're going to make a delicious seven cheese mac and cheese. Now, we're going to try to get seven cheeses in there, so we're going to see how creative we need to be, but first of all, we've got to cook our pasta, and I just bought a box of this large elbow macaroni, and what I'm doing is I'm boiling half water, half vegetable broth give it some good flavor we're going to put in because it's come to a boil I'm going to put in about two teaspoons of salt you can drop it down to one if you want but it's good for flavor and then I'm going to put in oh maybe about two-thirds of this box here to make our recipe yeah now well, let's dump it all in we're going to put it all in there this is a one pound, 16 ounce box of large elbow macaroni. We're going to bring this up till it's just al dente. And what al dente means is it's not cooked all the way. It's soft, but it still has a little toughness or a little crunch to it. Then we're going to mix in our cheeses. Come on over, I'll show you what we're going to do. All right, now according to the directions on the box here, you want to cook your pasta uncovered, bring it back to a boil, and then we want to kind of simmer it on high to medium high heat until it gets nice and soft but not completely done because once we mix in our cheeses and a few other secret ingredients over here we're going to bake this so I'll be back with you in a little bit when the pasta is just right now I wanted to get to seven because I like the number seven so here's our number one cheese which just is a dollop of melted Velveeta we're going to stir that in there we just got this out of the out of the cooker so it's super super hot now this shot looks completely different because we're already done with the recipe but I'm inserting this in the middle of the recipe because I want you to do something while the macaroni is still hot put in a half a stick of melted butter and put in a quarter cup of heavy whipping cream and about a teaspoon of sugar maybe a heaping teaspoon of sugar mix it all in then go back to putting the rest of the cheeses in so let's get back to the recipe but I wanted to put this clip in there to make sure you did that then I'm gonna move over to another spoon here and we're gonna put in two eggs for binding in there remember we're gonna bake this now stir that in And here comes, are you ready to go like crazy for this, Sheila? This is great. Here comes this, the other one. Here's number two, cheddar cheese. We'll put a little bit in here. Actually, I put in a half a cup of every one of these in this big container. Parmesan cheese, that's number three. Stir some of that in there. Am I going over the top? Yes, you are. All right, am I making a mess? He's getting back in there. Number four, mozzarella. It's in there too. Number five, Monterey Jack. We have two more macaronis over here. Number six is cottage cheese. One little tub of cottage cheese, which is eight ounces. That's number six. And then on top of the whole thing, we're going to put some Kobe Jack cheese when we bake it. That's number seven. So I made it. So I have a mess going over here, do I, Sheila? Let me see what I got. There you go. A couple extra little guys, little pieces. See if I can stir this in a little bit. Whoops. Be nice now. You got two more out. <laughs> Did I knock two more out of there? <laughs> They're not cooperating very good, are they? Uh -huh. Now we can add cheese to this if we needed to, but I wanted to start out with a half a cup of each one and stir it all in here good. Why it's still hot to melt our cheese. Let me get this stirred up real good here and I'll be right back with you. All right, we got all six of our cheeses in there because the seventh one's going on top. Now, are you ready for this? A little bit of, probably about a teaspoon 
of Worcestershire sauce. I know it's Worcestershire, but well, however you pronounce it, I always say Worcestershire. And about a teaspoon of hot sauce in there. How's that grab you? We're going to stir that in there as well. Wait till you taste all these flavors together. Now we're going to take our casserole dish here. These batches are turning out just perfect. That half a cup of all those cheeses, and I'll put it in the description box below so you don't have to go to a website to get it. We never make you do that. And then we're going to put it in this casserole dish here. Sheila, can you grab a hold of one side of that bowl right there? It's a little heavy. Just grab it right there. Perfect. Man, this is turning out fantastic. I'll give you that right there. We're going to push this around and fill in all of our little corners. Then it's time for, and now this is all store-bought already shredded. You can buy it in block and shred it yourself. And they say that the shredded cheese has a coating on it to keep it from sticking together in the bag. I don't know about that, um, but if you want to buy it in bulk, in block and then shred it fine, but I just buy everything store-bought, makes it quick and easy. Kobe Jack cheese, and we're going to cover the top of this. We're going to layer it over about halfway on the last slice. Then we're going to bake it in the oven at 350, and I'm not going to give you a time because I don't really know the time on this until it's done. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to put this in the oven, at 350 and when it looks cool I will let you know when I bring it back how long it was in there. See you in a little bit. Wow that smells so good. Fresh back from the oven 350 degrees for 20 minutes in a preheated oven and it's already got a nice little brown crust around the edge. A little bit of cheese on top is starting to turn brown. Now you could go 25 or 30 minutes keep a close eye on it but I'm going to stop it right there but I did want to go at least 20 minutes because it has raw eggs in there and I wanted that to cook. So we're ready to dish this up. Our seven cheese mac and cheese. I'm going to get a little bunch of, boy that smells fabulous. I wish you could smell this. Really terrific and, and with that, that little dish is plenty, don't take me long to look at a horseshoe. That's plenty warm on there so I'm going to Take a little bit more out of this side here for me. And those amounts of cheese with a half a cup of each one is just perfect to coat this nice. All right. I guess I could leave that in there. What do you think, Sheila? It looks good. It looks delicious, doesn't it? Mine's the one with a little fork. Oh, yeah. She's got a little fork and I got a bigger fork. And there you have it, mac and cheese, seven cheese mac and cheese with that hot sauce in there, that Worcestershire. Man, it's got cottage cheese in it, all kinds of neat stuff. And one little dollop of Velveeta to make it seven cheeses. So that's outstanding. I already sampled this. It's absolutely fantastic. And the Worcestershire and the hot sauce is not dominating. In other words, it doesn't take over the flavors. It just contributes to it. And it's outstanding. Now you can use whatever favorite cheeses you have. You can even get one of those three blend Mexican cheeses. It's already got cheddar and mozzarella and stuff in it. And just use nothing but that. But we wanted to give you kind of a starting platform of our seven cheese mac and cheese right here on Cooking with Shotgun Red. We hope you subscribe to our channel. It's pretty easy to do that. You click on little Shotgun Red's face when it pops up. It'll pop up a little you know, subscribe, check mark once you do click on it. And then right next to that is a bell. Click on that, it'll drop down a, what's it called, Sheila? Notification. Notification box. Click on there that you want to be notified about all our recipes. We hope you do that. Click save. Then it'll send you every single recipe that we come out with. We're going to put another recipe out over here. And you can click on. Hope you enjoy that as well. And is this the best seven cheese super mac and cheese recipe you ever ate? If it ain't, it ought to be. This is Steve Hall in Nashville, Tennessee, along with Pretty Miss Sheila, always doing a terrific job on all the camera shots, close up and all that stuff. And she's bopping her little head back there. She's cute as a button. Anyway, we'll see you next time. Did you have a good time, Sheila? I did. Me too. Thanks for watching. See you next time and hope another recipe you might be 
really interested in. And by the way, don't forget to give us a thumbs up, share it with all your friends, subscribe, and, and did I say all that stuff? I guess I did. See you later. Bye-bye.